This is lesson number two of I Walk the Line by Johnny Cash. We are learning it Travis Picking style. Hey, it's Bob Harris here, and this is lesson number two. If you missed lesson number one of I Walk the Line, just click right there. What we're going to do this week is we're going to add one note to this cool little riff that we have going on here. And this is the bounce note or the jump note. Let me play it for you. So go ahead and download the study guide right here. Click on that button, and when you've done so, come on back. Now, I got a lot of letters last week from a bunch of people saying that they were intimidated by these lessons, okay, this Johnny Cash song, and they thought they couldn't do it. And I know a lot of you are still having problems changing chords. I'm going to help you with that with this E, A, and B chord in a new simplified version of this song. So if you want to go back to some more basics and, and just get your skill level up a little bit, I've got a lot of helpful hints and a simplified version for you guys to catch up to this. Go ahead and click right here, okay? And that'll take you to the simplified version. For the rest of you that are in the fast lane with everything and want to keep going with this and learn this jump note, here we go. All right, so before we begin, I wanted to show you the sheet music really quick and explain something. I added some stuff down here. This is the tablature and these are the notes. The way that we're counting this, let's look right here, these numbers right here, we're going to count this a little differently than we've been counting because we want to take into account that jump note. And uh, right here with our index finger is the jump note, okay? And I'm going to show you that in a moment. But let me just explain how we're counting this, okay? I'm going to put the metronome on, and we're counting it like this. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three. Four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Uh, the, the T is the thumb, okay? And the I is our index finger. We're only using two fingers here, our thumb and our index finger. So we're going thumb, thumb, index, thumb, thumb. We'll keep working on that, of course, and I'm going to show you where the feel is with this. But that's how we're counting it out, okay? All right, we're just gonna work on the pattern first. And uh, let's just work on measure one. Measure one, we're holding an E chord down with our left hand. And here's the pattern. Let me do it real slow for you. So what we're doing is we're going, and I'm gonna call out the string, six, four, four, five, four. Six, four, four, five, four. And we're going thumb, thumb, index, thumb, thumb. So all we're doing is we're using our index finger one time to hit the fourth string. If I speed it up a little bit, it sounds like this. What's important to understand with this is just getting the cadence right and the counting. One, two, and three, four. I hope you have your guitar with you. One, two, and three, four. And playing it actually, not just looking at it in the corner there. One, two, and three, four. 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 All right? Measure two is just like measure one except for the last two notes, okay? The walk up going to the B seventh chord. Those are the last two notes. So measure two is this. Measure three is the B chord, the B seventh chord. And the jump note is the third note of the measure and the eighth note of the measure just like with the E chord so we're starting on a different string obviously it's same as last week except we're adding two notes the two jump notes
measure four is just like measure two. And measure five is just like measure three. Measure six, the last two notes, we have that walk up, okay, that we're doing. Sounds like this. Measure seven is the A seventh chord, and the ju our jump note is in the exact same place, okay? The third note of the measure and the eighth note of the measure. So last week was... And this week we're adding so up close and all together it's let me go ahead and count that for you one two and three, four, one, two and three, four. Measure eight is just like measure two, starting on the E chord. And walking it up to the B seventh chord, okay? Measure nine is the B chord again, just like measure three. And then measure 10, it's just like measure one. Measure 11 is just like measure two. All right, I got a quick question for you. Are you interested in also singing this song? You can let me know in the comments area below this video, or are you just looking to play it, all right? I need to know that answer. That would be great if you can let me know in the comments area. All right, for this I Walk the Line Travis picking style, we're going to uh, go ahead and do a little bit of a play along here. I'm going to turn this uh, metronome at 42 beats per minute. Uh, very, very slow. Let's just go ahead and do it. I hope you have your guitar with you and you're ready to go. I'll just call out the measures when we get to each measure, okay? So here we go. Two and three, four. Measure three. Seven. All right, I don't want to overwhelm you here, but I'm doing something on the last two notes of measures three, five, seven, and nine, 
with the G note that I'm playing. And what I'm doing is I'm actually taking my finger and bending the note, giving it a little bit of a bend there. And that's that, uh, that big country sound. That. Uh... All right, so that's it with this lesson, and I hope you're having fun. Uh, next week, what we're going to do is we're going to work on the intro of this song of I Walk the Line, and we're going to learn a Travis picking style as well. Uh, but really cool, what we're going to do is do about four different versions. There's many different ways to play this. And I'll let you have the, uh, the choice of which one you want to learn. And if you want to simplify with this whole thing, just click right here and take that lesson. If you need a little simpler version and you're not ready for this, eventually you will be, and that's what I'm going to push you towards, okay? So we'll see you next week. Thank you so much.